Dr. Swaminathan, Dr. Pandey, Dr. Gunaselan, Dr. Rita Sharma, and Dr. Ayapan, uh, delegates of the World Congress on Agroforestry, ladies and gentlemen. As you heard earlier this morning, uh, we have prepared a new, uh, ag well, we have prepared an agroforestry uh, policy for the, for the uh, country, which is uh, in the process of being uh, unraveled. It has, it has secured all the approvals, but it is yet to roll out. And I'd like to take you through the elements of this policy as soon as, uh, as this computer starts functioning. Uh, all right. Uh, it seems it's, it's going to take a little while. Well, I can continue. Uh, it's not that uh, work on agroforestry was not being done earlier. There were a large number of uh, uh, ministries and departments and state governments who were all chipping in with the, you know, with the little might and doing work on uh, agroforestry. But uh, there was an inherent, uh, there was a lack of focus. There was no accountability. There was no, and, and there was no synergy between the efforts of various departments. So the idea of behind a agro, uh, agroforestry policy was to address uh, these issues. Uh, first, of course, the limited uh, adoption of agroforestry in the country, the inadequate coordination and, uh, between the various uh, implementing agencies, and inadequate facilitation by the, uh, by the various uh, governmental agencies. The lack of a cohesive research extension and technical support uh, mechanism. The, uh, uh, Professor uh, Pandey was mentioning, the lack of, uh, you know, the, the extremely stringent regulatory uh, requirements which sometimes came in the way of effective uh, adoption of the policy. It was nobody's uh, policy in a sense. It was nobody's baby in a sense. It was all, all, all uh, implementing, uh, implementing agencies for themselves. So there's no real sense of responsibility or accountability so to get that into a single umbrella. There's a weak uh, market access for agroforestry produce and industry operations were at a very suboptimal uh, level. Uh, and of course, I mean, I, I, I don't think I need to explain the benefits of agroforestry to this uh, audience. I mean, it, it complements uh, and, 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 and that's the reason why the Ministry of Agriculture is in the forefront of uh, promoting or uh, steering this uh, agriculture policy that it uh, complements uh, agriculture and, and then basically also provides for uh, food, fuel, fodder, timber needs. Sustains uh, livelihoods, sustains, alleviates polities, uh, uh, alleviates uh, poverty. And considering the fact that 85% of the farmers in this country are uh, small and marginal, uh, it is extremely beneficial. It's more relevant actually to the small and marginal farmers. It provides for a more productive and resilient far farming uh, environment, generates employment opportunities, and above all, services the ecosystem in, in, uh, in, in more sustainable uh, manners. Uh, as of now, uh, as per current record, it is being practiced, albeit in, 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 in bits and pieces and, and, and without much coordination, but it is being practiced throughout the country in about 13 and a half million hectares. And it actually it does meet a large percentage of the country's uh, requirements. Uh, the process of uh, developing this, uh, this, uh, this policy was steered by the National Advisory uh, uh, Council, of which uh, Dr. Sharma is the secretary. And it uh, undertook uh, very intensive and extensive consultations with the various ministries, the state governments, industry, uh, financial institutions, non-governmental organizations, R&D organizations, and farm holders before coming up with a draft document, which was then uh, uh, recirculated amongst all these stakeholders for comments. And finally, the document that secured the approval of the cabinet was the end product of uh, this. So what the policy includes is basically a national level coordination convergence uh, and, and, and a mechanism that facilitates the implementation of this uh, policy and creates synergy between the working of various uh, implementing agencies. It uh, envisages the establishment of an agroforestry mission that would supervise uh, the, the operationalization of this policy. It would mainstream agroforestry 
into agriculture. As of now, uh, agroforestry in large parts of the country is being steered by different departments in the state government. So it will be mainstreamed into the agriculture policies and strategies so that the, it, it becomes uh, an integral part of an integrated farming system uh, that, is, that we are trying to uh, promote. Uh, by, by, by complementing and supplementing uh, mainstream agriculture activities, especially in the fields of small and marginal farmers. Uh, it would also uh, add to the security of land tenure by uh, creating or supplementing the database of land records, because large number of uh, forest holdings, or, or tree holdings rather, uh, are, are, are the, the land tenure, the ownership rights are a bit suspect in, in some, uh, some parts of the country where basically the populations are so vulnerable and so, 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 uh, so uh, you know, uh, lacking in knowledge of their rights uh, that uh, they, they, are, they are not aware of exactly how to proceed. So this would also provide them security of tenure. And then above all, it would uh, amend and simplify all the legislations and regulations that uh, deal with, uh, with uh, production, harvesting, and transportation of agroforestry produce. It would uh, facilitate investment in research and extension, improve uh, farmers' access to inputs and services, uh, facilitate institutional credit and insurance cover, which as of now is completely lacking in this country, encourage participation of uh, industries, strengthen access to markets, incentivize agroforestry through various uh, schemes and programs of the government, and promote sustainable agroforestry for renewable energy to uh, facilitate or promote carbon sequestration and other environmental services. Uh, the policy will be, uh, the, the operation of the policy will be supervised by an interministerial group, uh, which will be steered in the Department of Agriculture and Cooperation in the Ministry of Agriculture, and the, the intention would be to leverage resources from the various ongoing schemes and programs of the various departments and other agencies and revitalize the key uh, agroforestry related programs. Thank you very much.